Wag one, my drillers, and welcome back to Pro Cycle Manager 2021. For a video I did not think I would ever do. Um, mainly because I didn't think I'd record any more PCM today. I've just recorded four episodes of the fucking TDF Rewind, which you'll see during the next two weeks. Um, but yeah, Richard Carapaz uh, became world champion, or Olympic champion, sorry, a couple of days ago. I can't exactly tell you when, because uh, it was during the night, France, and obviously your boy was sleeping. Um, but I figured, you know what, as a one-off, could do the Olympics race. Happens once every four years, or in three years, uh, with the new like situation and that. But yeah, we've got uh, the uh, Tokyo 2020 or 2021 parkour. Uh, why is it slapped on Lombardia, you may ask, uh, or maybe you hadn't noticed. Uh, but it's the only way I could get it to work with uh, a list of starters. I mean, I could have done with any classics, but I went with Lombardia. There's no nations kit uh, either. We're, we're repping team and not nations. Um, but we'll take the team Kubeke next stage, which is Richard Carapaz, Jonathan Arves, Andrea Amador, Eder Freire, and Said Safarzadeh. Hopefully, uh, we can make Carapaz Olympic champion again. And sadly, it is a minus two for a good old Richard Carapaz. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't affect us too much. Uh, it feels very weird to see like a lot of riders with national kits. I can't lie. A Maori van Sevenant riding for Aja Dezer is something I did not know I needed. Uh, but yeah, minus two for Richard. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'd be unable to tell you how the actual race has gone uh, for a very simple reason. I didn't see it. Um, I actually did not follow any cycling since the end of the Tour de France. Actually, since midway through the Tour de France, if I'm being honest. Uh, slightly doing a, an overdose of cycling. And yeah, taking two weeks off, hopefully, gives me um, a decent enough break so that I could come back in um, well, on, for the Vuelta with, um, with clear mind, I guess. Um, but we've got a breakaway. I know there was like a 20-minute breakaway, I think, with Peter Sagan at one point. Or like, Jural Sagan? I don't know. One of the Sagans was there. Uh, and then... I think Belgium paced for Von Aert. Uh, I think Von Aert and, and Poggy for, for second place. But I have very bad memories of, um, of this race. For those who don't remember why or don't know why, um, I'll, I'll slap a link there. Or, or there. Yeah, there, this way. No, hold up. Aha, stupid. There. Yeah, there. For um, the um, first episode of Challenge Me. With a certain uh, Joao Almeida. Uh, where we had to win the parkour, or win the uh, Olympic champs. And we may have fucked it up. Alright, taking a look at the breakaway then, for uh, today's Olympic uh, race road. Um, no, Olympic road race. Uh, so we have Luke Lurbridge for uh, Groupama DG, but mainly representing Australia. I don't know why. Luke Lurbridge under the Groupama shirt really feels normal. I don't know, it's because like, they've got Miles Scottson, and they have a history of having like Aussie riders, like Wesley Stilsberger. Um, I think that Bradley Wiggins is wow, he's not Australian, <laughs> but I don't know why it feels <coughs> rather natural. We've got Amanian Gabriel Xavier for Eritrea, we've got Masuda for Japan on his home terrain. Then, uh, we've got you forgot Yurai Shagan. I don't know if it was him or Peter on the uh, road race, but at least we've got some slight of a, of a hierarchy. And we've got Stefan de Bode for a South Africa gap three and a half minutes over a peloton led by Greg van der Matt, the actual. Um, Olympic champion, just like in real life, pacing for Ivan Art, Mashi Bodnar, and Vadim Pronsky are the two riders dropped out of the peloton. You know what feels better than Luke Durbridge in the FDG kit? This Donny Raya. Chun Kai Feng. Chun Kai Feng rides for FDG in this save, and there's not many things in the world that could give me more joy. Maybe, maybe a Thibaut Pino win on the Tour de France. I don't know what's more likely right now Thibaut Pino or Chun Kai Feng. I think there's a debate. And we've got a few rollers that have attacked. Uh, quite weirdly, actually. Joe Almeida, okay. Alex Lutsenko, Mark Hershey, and Lucas Hamilton. Interesting. They're interesting. Uh, Tige Bernot is pacing with Hugo Hull. Oh, oh, yeah, for my code, that makes sense. Um, okay, well, uh, I'm going to increase the rhythm with Narves and uh, Richard Carapaz because we're approaching the Mikuni Pass. Lico 180. Actually, that's a 360. My bad. I mean, in that case, Lickles 180, so that means, like, I'm making it twice, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start the Mucuni Pass. The toughest climb of this parkour, for sure. Nine and a half percent for seven kilometers and a max of 20 whole percent. This is not gonna be easy, this is not for the faint-hearted, this is for an Olympic champion. 
And take a good shot, he's gone. Tade Pugacar is gone for, uh, for Bahrain Victorious. Feels really weird to see Tade riding for uh, the other uh, Middle Easter team of the um, of World Tour. Here's Schachmann, the champion of Germany. Okay. Uh, Tij Benut still pacing. Where is Wout? Wait, he's pacing for Aja Dezer. Where is Aja Dezer? George Benet dropped. Am I blind? Oh, Wout is dead. Oh, I see. Interesting. Well, the question is whether, um, whether Tade can hold on at the front of this group for said amount. Oh my god, Primo Roglic is attacking to bridge with Tade Pogacar. <laughs> what? So, we're in an interesting race physiognomy at this point. Uh, we've got a two men group at front with Tade Pogacar and Primo Roglic, teammates. Behind, you've got myself and Yates. And behind, you've got Jonathan Narvaez and a group of eight riders, including the likes of Rigo Uran. Uh huh. And I'd be lying if I said I had any idea as to how the fuck I'm going to play this. Who can beat Slovenia? Like, that's, that's a legitimate question. Who the fuck can beat them? Unless they stop in the downhill, there's nothing I can do here. Um... <laughs> Hey, I did not expect this at all going into this stage. I completely forgot that Slovenia was a team that had two riders. Fuck. I'm counting on Jonathan Narvaez to try and bridge it. Jonathan is the only one here that could make this work. 6k to go in the tunnel. Gap 50 seconds again. No one is relaying with, um, with Jonathan Narvaez. And sadly, up ahead, they are relaying. So, yeah, I feel like we're going to fight for third here. Shit, there's literally nothing I could have done here. They were just, they were too good. They were just too good. The, the team tactics were unreal. I guess, I guess the question is, who's going to be third then? Richard Carapaz will not be the Olympic champion. Following today's stage, it'll be a gold and silver medal for Slovenia. But there's one bronze medal to go and grab. And the peloton is eager to get it. Riguran seems kind of dead. I can't lie. I'm going to follow Vlasov. I'm going to follow Vlasov. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Up ahead it is. Oh, it's a close finish. But Tadej Pogacar once again edges Roglic. And the gold. Sorry. The bronze medal will be for Richard Carapaz. Vlasov. Yates. Chikone. Schachmann. Uran. Kelderman. Dan Martin. Jakob Fulsang. Jonathan Alvarez with a very strong 11th place. 12th place. Yeah. I don't know if I could have done better. I don't know if I could have done better. Maybe try to follow Roglic when he attacked. But I don't think I had the legs, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's in the story, right? Wins the Tour de France. Wins the Tour de France again. Wins Les Bastogniers. Wins the Olympic Championships. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Gold medal for Slovenia inside the Pogacar. Uh, silver medal for Slovenia in Primus Roglic. And bronze medal for Ecuador and Richard Carapaz. Could not do what uh, the uh, rider from Ineos has done. But hopefully, I'll try to make him justice as much as I could. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Though. If you did, then please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of my content in the coming weeks, then do feel free to subscribe. There's four videos coming in the next two weeks. For those who don't know, I won't be there for those two weeks. Uh, everything's pre-recorded. I'm going to be on holidays. Um, so if I'm quite slow to like respond to the comments or shit, my bad, yeah, I'm just taking a slight break away from, uh, from the internet. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any comments, let them behind, uh, below and I'll see if I can answer at one point. But my name is Guillaume, have an amazing day. See ya.